The number of representatives in the 11th parliament is said to grow even bigger with more than a dozen new constituencies already carved out. The constitution also provides that the composition of parliament shall be, re, shall be reviewed every five years. So why I'm coming to you is five years are coming to, to its close and we are now preparing for the 11th parliament because 10th parliament should be ending. There is also a proposal before parliament for the approval of five special seats to be competed for by the elderly. That we've had cultures and customs that have been detrimental to some interest groups. Some interest groups have not been able to move at the same pace as the others. I'm almost convinced that we actually need a bill for that particular part of adding a new category. We need a bill to amend section 78. There will be seven extra legislators in the next parliament after the newly created cities get their own woman representative. By the financial year 2022-23, the number of women representatives from the cities shall have jumped to 15 without the addition of new constituencies in the new cities. Cities in, in law, they, they, are, they are equal to the district. So once you have a city, once you have a city, you have a district. It is equivalent to a district. That's why they give it a woman representative for them to be equal with the district bringing a woman representative. Thus, from within the territorial boundaries of a district within which the cities are situated, there shall be two women representatives. Unlike the districts, the capital Kampala has one woman member of parliament in spite of its population and geographical size. But as of now, we are operating on the existing law. The law is that those marginalized should have special affirmative action for them to be represented. And that's precisely what I'm, I'm putting before you. With a total of 426 members in the 10th parliament, the additional elective seats will increase the cost of administration of parliament beyond the 667 billion shillings allocated for the House in the financial year 2020-21. Jackson Onyango, NTV.